There are times when you have data organized in multiple columns and you want to transpose these columns to rows. So unpivot this data before it was pivoted. Or you have data with multiple columns and multiple headers and you want to convert this into an unpivoted format for further data analysis. This is where Advanced Unpivot in Power Query comes in. Let's see how we can unpivot these two examples using Unpivot in Example 1 and then Advanced Unpivot for Example 2. We have our report with our product type on the left and the sales by month for each product, as well as the total. Let's send this to Power Query so that we can unpivot this data. If you're new to Power Query, I highly recommend you watch this video here, Power Query for Beginners. Press Ctrl A to select this data and here in the Data tab, click on From Table or Range and this Create Table dialog box pops up. Ensure my table has headers is selected and click on OK. And we're taken to the Power Query editor. Let's remove the change type step as we will perform this at the end. Now all we need to do is click on the product column to select it, right click and select Unpivot Other Columns. So our columns were split into two rows, namely the attribute being the months and the value for those months. If we scroll down, we still have the totals. Let's remove those by filtering it out. Right click on Total, click on Text Filters, click on Does Not End With, and total is filtered out. Let's change the product column to text and change attribute to month. We can leave the type as text and let's change value to currency. Let's send this back to Excel, click on File, Close and Load, and our report is unpivoted. This is also dynamic. So if another product is added to our source data, and we hit refresh, our data is automatically updated. Now, in example two, we have our report with multiple headers and we want to unpivot this data. We're going to do this in seven steps. Just to note, this example shows double headers, but you can use these steps even when you have more than just double headers. Let's send this to Power Query. As before, click on Data and click From Table or Range. Uncheck my table has headers and click OK. Our first column has our customer, then the revenue type in column 2, the actual sales in column 3 and 4, and the budget in column 5 and 6. And we can see the dates are below actual and budget. Let's remove the change type step as we will perform this at the end. Next is to fill down the customer name, right click on column 1, go down to fill, and select down, and our customer name is full down. We need to merge column 1 and 2, select column 1, hold down the control key and select column 2. Right click and select merge columns. Let's make our separator a comma and leave the column name as merged, as we will split these columns later on. So this step is to help us get our data into the format for unpivoting. Click OK and we have our customer and revenue type columns merged into one and separated by a comma. Next, we need to transpose this data. Click on the Transform tab and click on Transpose, and our data is transposed, and we now have one row of column headers. Now, still in the Transform tab, click on Use First Row as Headers and click Use First Row as Headers, and our headers have been promoted. Let's remove the change type step. If you would like to find out why I prefer to remove the change type step and rather perform the step at the end, please watch this video here, Power Query Error Handling. Now here is where we can unpivot our columns, where we have our customer name and the revenue type, service or product, example, Apple service, Apple product, Samsung service, and so forth. These are our attributes and the values of these attributes are the sales values. So the attributes and their values are the data that we want to unpivot. So select the first column, hold down the control key and select the second column. Right click and select unpivot other columns and our data is unpivoted. 
Next, let's select the attribute column. Right click, select split column by delimiter. We want to split it by the comma and click OK. And our customer and revenue type have been split. Let's rename our columns. Let's name this actual or budget. Let's name this month and this can be customer. Revenue type and this can be sales value. We don't want any of the totals. Click on the drop down next to customer. In text filters, click on does not end with and type total and click OK. And our totals have been filtered out. Let's change the first column to text and make our month column date. Customer and revenue type are fine as text. And let's change sales value to currency. Let's send this back to Excel. Let's test the automation out. I've added the actual and budgeted date for the month of March. And if we hit refresh, we have our March data in our end query. Now, if your data looks like this and you need to pivot it, I'd highly recommend you check out this video here on Advanced Pivot. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.